these marching bands dream of getting to play in New York and parade or something like that, they get to do it in their hometown at a World Series parade. That is incredible for them. Here's Lorenzo K. There he is. A fan favorite, an amazing player getting to ride through the parade right now with his family. The all-star outfielder had so many clutch hits oh. in this postseason. Gave 100% every time. Great to see. Here we go. Here go some of the fireworks they're shooting off as the players continue to make their way out. Johnny Gomes, number 31. They've got their phones going too inside the trucks. I love that. Pretty cool. Yeah. You know, as we have a gap in the uh, the parade right here, one thing that goes uh, unmentioned, you know, the city put this on and just they had 48 hours from the time they found out the Royals won. Less than 48 hours, really, from Sunday to now to get this all ready to go. They had some weeks to try to organize it in anticipation of this, but uh, a lot going on, a lot to uh, put all this together. One thing that might have gone forgotten, <laughs> and one of the most important parts of a parade, the scoopers after the uh, horses come through. And <laughs> that'll come, that'll unfortunately, come later. some of the uh, high school band had to mar march through some of that. <laughs> Alex Gordon, there number he is. four. Huge response from the crowd seeing Alex Gordon come through. You know, it's great. To, we heard him uh, tell Frank on the post-game show after the uh, the deciding game, Game 5 in New York. He, ho he hopes he can stay. He's in a contract year. His contract's up. He hopes he can play. He wants to stay here. This feels like home to him. Follow Orlando. Orlando. He's, uh, you saw him come in late in the games for the Royals. Some good defense there. Good defensive outfielder key to this team as well to winning the World Series. I like that they're giving the guys some space in between so they can each get their own huge round of applause when they come through. Alex Rios should be the next player that's coming out of the gate here. Another marching band is getting ready to get in place right behind this huge baseball balloon they've got going on that's going to march down the parade as well. Here we go. We see the pickup truck coming out. Alex Rios. Fireworks and smoke and lights with every player coming out. That's so fun. The, the fireworks are uh, going off here above Sprint Center. We've seen confetti shooting out, which is appropriate because it's a, a Royal Snow Day, as we're calling it on the morning show today. Exactly. A snow day, if, in a way, with all this uh, confetti, because it definitely is not cold enough for snow. It's Guess who's next, Patrick? About 70 degrees. Great sunny day here. Gerard Dyson. Up. That's what speed do. That's what He's speed coming do. up. Man, you saw the uh, stolen bases that he had this postseason. How key was that stolen base in game five? And I just love position his score. confidence has always come through. Not an arrogance, just a confidence about how well this team's doing. And he made it so fun with his dance, right, last year? There he is, Gerard Dyson. Uh, and look at their shirts. This is so cool. They were selling these at the K yesterday. They say, thanks, Kansas City. Just another, you know, kind note to this town and these fans that they really do love that supported this team for so long. It's amazing all the, uh, the different camera crews. You saw one in the back of the pickup truck with Gerard, Gerard Dyson a lot throughout the uh, parade route. It's interesting to see the different documentaries that are going to be made about this. Look at this. Terrence Gore coming out right now onto the parade route with his family. A full family back in the truck there waving and having such a great time. Here's our next Major League Baseball balloon float coming down the way. A little bit windy, so they really got their work cut up for them a little bit, hanging on to the uh, cords here to keep this down on the ground. The ballooned arches kind of just going every which way, but such a gorgeous day, especially for November. Sun is shining. It is unbelievable in here. Uh, we are waiting now for the central drum line to join the parade. A little bit of a gap in the parade here as they just have a major portion making its way towards City Hall. Whoa, check out this dune buggy. You're about to see this uh, this Jeep with the moose antlers on top. I wonder if this is the moose guy with the antlers at the games that we see. Look at that. He's, he's getting the crowd pumped up here. He's getting, the, he's getting the crowd fired up here. More fireworks. Look at this. Kendris right. Morales. Kendris Morales hitting the parade route. Kendris Morales, what a uh, important part he played. You know, he didn't play in those three games in New York because uh, National League rules don't allow the designated hitter. 
but so key in the really the entire season. Here we go, uh, Christian Cologne, number 24. <laughs> and ended up making an incredible impact in this World Series. And as we said, how huge were his hits? Did Amazing. Not bat all postseason, but he batted in that 12th inning, came up with a huge RBI for the Royals, just like he did in the 12th inning of that wild card game last year. That's right. Here's a big fan favorite, Esky Alcides Escobar. Smoking fireworks for him. Oh, yeah. There he is with his family. That may be one of the biggest stop, crowd reactions. All store shortstop with such a great arm. Great range. And such a solid hitter. So great to, yes. How many times did he get on base we could count on, he you know? He comes up, lead off. I mean, he led off with a home run one of these postseason games. It's just been incredible. He, he set the record for, uh, the, the team record at least, for the most amount of consecutive uh, leadoff hits in the postseason. And that's what's so amazing about this lineup. Every single time, there was no weak link on there. They knew they had to be afraid, the other team, that every single guy could get on base or hit a home run. You know, some people wonder, like, Alex Gordon, he bats seventh, but Ned Jost has talked about it before. You know, he spreads out some of his uh, his power hitters, and there's not really a weak spot in that lineup. So no. if you're an opposing pitcher, holy cow, how do you how do you face that lineup that's so good top to bottom? And that's how we earn the name this season, the Relentless Royals. Proud of it. So much fun. They're you chanting, the let's go Royals on the route here. Look who's coming out now. Oh! Here we go. First baseman, Eric Hosmer, waving to the crowd. Oh, He's huge cheer. The gold glove first baseman. Man, how, how many great hits has he had, too? It is great to see. He has more postseason RBIs in his at his point in his career, at his age, how many games he's played in the postseason, he has more RBIs than anyone in the history of Major League Baseball wow. besides Lou Gehrig. And he, how uh, crazy was that stat? Incredible. And he made a record, uh, tying George Brett's record this postseason, too, for the team. Incredible. Yeah. Such a, I mean, that is a living legend right there, Eric Hosmer, and, and what he has done for the uh, Kansas City Royals. Helped them get that championship here. You know, yeah, they'll talk about We'll, we'll talk about the stats as, as fans, but they'll just talk about the focus of winning this title. This is what they've wanted all year. This has been their focus, to win the division, get home field advantage, which they did, and win the World Series title. Check it out, Omar Infante. You know, he had his injury, uh, didn't play uh, the postseason, but was so vital yes, in absolutely. the regular season, turned so many double plays with Alcides Escobar. And credit to Ben Zobris, too, for stepping in for Infante. How great did Ben Zobris do at second base? He's played third base when Moose was out, when his mother passed away. When uh, He's played left field when Alex Gordon was hurt. Here's Raul Mondesi. The first he was the make first his MLB one. debut, right, in the World Series. No one has ever done that before, to come up for their, uh, their World Series or their Major League debut in a World Series, and Raul Mondesi did. Incredible. He struck out, but he is so talented. He's, he's young, he's only 20 or 21. He has a huge career ahead of him with this Royals organization. Now, we've been talking about fan favorites. Just in name alone, Mike Moustakis, they're getting ready for him to come out. He's going to be a fan favorite for sure. There's Chesler Cuthbert, uh, Cuthbert coming out. We've seen him. You know, it was fun to see when he came up with the Royals uh, during the regular season. He had some big hits. He got dumped with uh, water, the Gatorade bath from Salvi uh, during the year. So it's been fun to see him do so well during the Can regular season for the Royals. The whole crowd. Moose. Mike Moustakis making his way on the parade route right now. There that it is. Saying Moose, not Boo. There it is. <laughs> Got his puppy dog with him. That was the moose mobile that was ahead of him with the moose antlers on top. He's got a moose mobile. Come on. Just fantastic. This town loves moose. You think about all the throws moose has made at third base this year. Oh, yeah. How many diving stops he's had, throws over to Hosmer at first. You think about how many of those plays saved games. My goodness. All right, right now we're going to pause just for a moment for a word from our sponsors.
41 Action News coverage of the Royals Parade is brought to you by BigTimeBats.com, where you can get your World Series champions bats. All right, look at this Ben Zobrist on the parade route right now with his lovely family, his wife, still expecting. That's right. She was wondering. We, uh, we did the story during the World Series. She was hoping, please, baby, don't come, <laughs> don't come yet during the World Series. But she said if the baby uh, did arrive early, she didn't want Ben to be there. She wanted him to hit a home run for the, uh, the Royals. And how many home runs has he hit for us this year that, especially some key ones in the postseason as well? They, told, they said Ben Zobrist has been a beast this season, and they were right. All right, next up. Somebody that has really impacted this team in a short amount of time getting traded from the Cincinnati Reds, Johnny Cueto, had an incredible World Series game, king of game two. That's right. You know, you talk about what we had to give up to, uh, to get Cueto, uh, and Dayton Moore talked about he, he felt that that was the right move for this team. It's likely this is the last time we see Johnny Cueto with the Royals. That could also be possible with Ben Zobris we just saw. Maybe Alex Gordon, their contracts are all up. How much money will we have to re-sign some of these key players? But Johnny Cueto, there he how is. huge was he his last game? He had that big game at home, game two at the K, to win it for the Royals. Quickly becoming a fan favorite this season, absolutely. I mean, Johnny, loving him. Johnny Cueto, he had that complete game in game two of the World Series. Only two hits given up. One earned run. That is one of the best pitching performances you will ever see in a World Series game. And it was from Johnny Cueto. Absolutely. Well worth the trade. They wanted to get him just for this year at least to win the World Series, and he helped him do that. Here comes Wade Davis, number 17, with his family. The crowd going nuts for Wade. Think about how many times he came in for relief, not just in the ninth inning, but Ned would bring him in the, in the eighth inning sometimes, ask him to go two innings, which for a relief pitcher, especially your closer, can be tough to do, especially if they have to pitch night after night, which he had to do sometimes. Look and this. great how much Wade Davis filled in for Greg Holland, who was hurt. Yes, uh, just such an important job. fantastic the bullpen we have in Kansas City. Danny Duffy, number 41. You see the bear suit he's wearing? <laughs> How he was wearing that? this in the locker room when they won the ALDS, and he said, so straight-faced, what are you wearing? He's like, oh, this is a bear suit, for <laughs> sure. How much fun is that guy? And number yeah. 41, we, we appreciate that. Oh, yeah, that's I'm sure right. It's not for KSHB, 41 Action News, but we'll, we'll pre pretend like it is. We love that they all have a sense of humor, <laughs> and they're just such a fun family, a brotherhood. Here's Jeremy, Jeremy Guthrie. Guthrie. You think about how much... Uh, he pitched last year for the Royals, pitched a lot of playoff games, didn't pitch this postseason, but still it's glad, it's great to see the, uh, the fans recognize these players. Yes. Whether they contributed or not this, uh, this postseason, they're all vital. They're vital to, to keep the, the mood in the clubhouse going, in the dugout, that don't give up attitude. Every single one of them is important. And as we said today, you know, they're all going to get uh, World rings. Series rings. World Series championship rings. Kelvin Herrera making his way onto the parade route. Number 40, pitcher Kelvin Herrera. And how huge was he as well? Coming in uh, to pitch at, at some times where it was difficult, where we needed him to uh, really hold on to the lead or at least yeah. not let the opponent's lead uh, get any bigger. And he has really helped out. Such a, a solid bullpen this, this year, well. seriously. We should see Luke Hoke. Right, who's Hoche coming around the next. corner? Here he comes. Luke Hoche Bird family. <laughs> Still sporting his playoff beard. I yes, love the right. playoff beards. <laughs> and how, how important was he too pitching for us? The, the Royals really benefited from some great pitching this year. And we talked about how Wade Davis stepped in in the closer role for, for Greg Holland. You know, you had HDH, Herrera, Davis, Holland last year, and Davis really stepped up when, Hol when uh, Greg Holland got injured. And Greg's going to be coming up next, and it'd be great to see him getting that recognition as well. Because he, uh, he helped us in a lot of games earlier this year to get that division title. Number 56, Greg Holland.
And uh, coming up on deck, if you will, the Center Marching Band, a school district in South Kansas City, one of the area school districts that gets to represent in such a very cool way. These marching bands get to take part in a historic citywide celebration. And as we mentioned earlier, you know, it's just great to see how this has been a peaceful celebration. Oh, yeah. Everyone getting along, even though it's packed in here, you see the crowd packed in. Everyone getting along, smiling, laughing. A lot of good, uh, good times, great memories being made today. And a lot more to see so far. We'll be right back. Stay with us right here on 41 Action News.